even started. Um, so Malcolm's introduced me. So my name's Natasha, um, and I'm here on behalf of Fountaindale School, and our table's over there. Fountaindale team are over there. So um, hello. Um, I'm here to talk to you about the school, um, hopefully raising lots of money tonight. I'm not going to stand up here for too long um, and lose your interest, so I'm going to go straight into it. I have a personal interest in the school as I have a little boy who is seven years old and to very briefly tell you, due to a huge NHS mistake, he now has a cerebral palsy. He is a highly intelligent little boy but is physically disabled and this pretty much describes all of the children at Fountaindale School. It is a school for physical disabilities and not cognitive. However, without the correct technology, sensory equipment, it is a challenge every day for these kids. Many have the ability to sit GCSEs and go on to further education and have the same interest as able children. Fountaindale were selected last year under the new government building scheme, which is 15 years overdue, may I just add. Um, they are the first school in Mansfield to have this work done and all the children need to be moved in by March 2015. And as Malcolm said, they get the build but they don't actually get all of the equipment that goes inside. So you're probably thinking, why do we need to raise money? Well sadly, the school does only get the funding for the build. No furnishing and no equipment. So for example, in the sensory room, the room would be painted and the wiring would be there, but none of the equipment would be provided. Fountaindale very much relies on the generosity of people passing things on, um, like computers and sensory equipment and other items. The school has a wish list that you could never achieve. And you're probably thinking, which is rightly so, that the government or the social services should provide this. But the truth is that the funds just aren't there to the, give to the school. This bit always gets me every single time, but these children are not asking for gifts or toys. And it's because Malcolm has spoken before, it's made me more emotional tonight. Um, they're just being asked to be given the opportunity to show their abilities and lead a happy and safe, fulfilled life. And of course, this is what we all want for our children. I would just like to leave you with two things. Everybody knows who Stephen Hawkins is and what an intelligent man he is and how he communicates to the world. Imagine taking away his communication aid and where do you think he would be today? He definitely wouldn't be in the place that he is and he definitely wouldn't be the man he is thought of. The average price of a computerised speech aid is £12,000. 99% of the, the kids at Fountaindale School need one of these to be able to have a voice. There are 60 pupils which have only a handful have and the others are getting left with no voice. There are lots of different things going on tonight where you can donate to the school and you can really make a difference. Finally, me and my husband would really, really like to thank Malcolm and Rachel Hall of Hall Fast Limited for their time and commitment to Fountaindale School in the last 12 months. And it is actually, I don't know if you know this, Malcolm, but it's actually a year to the day that we actually met you, um, which is quite ironic, really. Um, and this is when Malcolm first decided to help. I personally think what a great person to have met. And without help from local businesses like Hal Malcolm from Hallfast, the wish list would never, ever come true. And obviously, I would also like to thank everybody in this room today because we are here to raise money for Fountaindale School, but also we're here to have a fantastic night. So I hope you all have a lovely evening and I hope we raise lots and lots of money and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our wonderful parents, Natasha, our fabulous sponsor, ladies and gentlemen, Malcolm Hall from Hall Fast. As Natasha was just mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is all about having a great time but also about raising money. We've got a few ways we can do that, ladies and gents. How good is that? A little bit later on, we're going